Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first International Fortune Conference here in the beautiful Zurich. Well, actually, the weather outside is currently not so nice, but we have here um, an impression from not too long ago, um, which you could have enjoyed if you would have been allowed to travel. Now, my name is Tiziana Müller. I'm a PhD student here at the University of Zurich in the Department of Chemistry. And people, while this is not our first, well, this is, while this is the first conference and also the first conference for us, this is not the first Fortran event we have been organizing. In the past, we started in 2018 with a small Fortran workshop, which we held here at the university with mostly local guests, uh, but also people who will also speak again here at the conference. We followed that up on last year uh, with a small mini symposium at the larger PASC conference here in Switzerland. And we are delighted to have now here the first International Fortran Conference. People might ask, why is chemistry interested in doing Fortran, uh, not only as just user, but also interested in uh, Fortran development? and interest in, in standard and engineering techniques? Well, this is because in our group, uh, we are developing a large uh, quantum chemistry code, an electronic structure simulation code, uh, which is about 1 million lines of code. And this is, has been in development since 20 years. And this is why we are interested also in developing Fortran. Or, and the second one, the second reason is this one. Uh, as you see, in 2018, um, our supercomputing center, the CSCS, um, which hosts Europe's fastest supercomputer, uh, published the annual user survey. And as you can see, for once or for the first time, Fortran was at a decline, at a real significant decline towards the other languages. So the users or the participants in that survey were asked, which language do you use primarily in, in your work? And probably people don't realize how much Fortran is running underneath what they are running, but here they started to answer, no, I'm using C++ or Python more. And if you go now to, to uh, 2020, if you want to check that out your, yourself, you see that C++ stayed basically the same while Python skyrocketed even more, which means that uh, concerning this, people are not actively writing their code in Fortran anymore. And this is why we started our own initiative to foster Fortran, um, to foster Fortran community and to foster Fortran development here. And the idea is that we are not getting turned into aliens here. But luckily, um, last year we learned that we are not alone in the universe, no, in, in the Fortran universe, of course. Um, there are other great people who started to also uh, do their own community. And um, I'm delighted that we have them here afterwards as well, and they will talk about, about their parts of, of, this, of this large initiative. Uh, let me give you a brief overview of the conference, um, just to repeat that. We had to host now a virtual event due to the whole COVID-19 situation. Um, I don't know whether we have more participants now than we would have if we would have done it uh, in real. Um, it is, of course, would have been preferred to have it in real because communication is much easier in person, but we are, try our best to give you the chance to discuss amongst uh, your peers and to give you some sort of a platform here. Now, the timetable was adapted for the different time zones of the speakers. Our apologies to all people in Asia who now have to stay up really late to enjoy this life. But as you can probably already see, we are recording this and you should be able to, with a delay, be able to watch the, the talks afterwards. For the recording, again, we are not recording the gallery. Uh, we are only recording the slides and the audio. 
Afterwards, after my short introduction, we will have Steve Lionel talking about Fortune 2018 and beyond. We will have two, in principle, we have two presentation tracks with 16 presentations as longer or selected presentations and 10 shorter presentations of each 15 minutes. After the, the time, there will be five minutes for discussion. And uh, thanks for the speaker uh, as well at this point. Now we are even more people. So this was yesterday, 273. Now we are at 219 to totally registered. But I see that uh, in the room, we still would have room for more. As I said, we are using Zoom here to do this whole conference virtually. Um, the speakers will share their screen directly. And I would like to ask the speakers to stay in your allocated time slot um, to allow four to five minutes present uh, uh, Q&A after each presentation. Now, for those who want to ask questions, please use the live question chat in the Slack chat app or in the Slack chat web application. Um, we will check that afterwards and our helpers will add a marker um, to indicate that you can um, ask questions for the current presentation. So we know which questions there are. Um, there are also other channels like the help channel uh, where you can help uh, ask for help and we'll try our best to answer that in time. And as I said, um, speakers, we will rely the question on unless you want to ask them themselves. If you want to ask directly via audio, please use the raise hand feature in Zoom. Otherwise, the chair will forward the question on your behalf to the speaker. I would like at this point also say, um, well, this is not my, my brainchild alone, um, but I would like to acknowledge um, some people who have made this possible. Um, first uh, is Alfio Lazaro. I had the, the pleasure to share the office with him before he changed or he transitioned to HPE. And this is as much his brainchild as it is mine or ours in the local committee. And then in the local committee, we have uh, Anna Hin, Vlad uh, Vladimir Ripkin and Johan Matiat, who will also chair the sessions and who will be able, uh, who will be in the chats and also in the Zoom present. Um, the scientific committee, I would really like to thank you for your time. Um, you invested on uh, voting or kind of like um, reviewing the submitted abstracts. Thank you very much. And of course, we also have our helpers here, uh, my colleagues here, Augustin Bussy, Felice Sertan, Fabian Belflam and Michele Pauletti. You will find their names in the Slack chat and also in the Zoom channel. Um, please ask them uh, if anything should not be clear or if you need help, um, but you can also use directly the help channel in Slack. And thanks also to you um, for attending this conference and uh, make this enjo uh, an enjoyable experience for all of us. And of course, we received funding um, the first funding, and I think the most important one, is by the UZH, or respectively our boss, Jörg Hutte, who allowed us to actually do this and supported us. Then the UZH graduate campus via its GRC grant, who made the, the big investment here, if um, it would have been required. Of course, now that's virtual, it's a bit cheaper. Then the NCCR Marvel project, um, of the Swiss National Fund and the Swiss, Swiss National Supercomputing Center, CSCS. Now, please give feedback. As I said, this is our first conference of this scale. We want to hear the good, the bad and the ugly. Um, you can do that either on Twitter um, or also directly to us. The Twitter hashtag would be FortranCon2020, but we also listen to FortranCon. And well, now enjoy the conference. 
So, and I think we still have time, but we can also start a bit early, depending on whether Steve is ready. So let me introduce our keynote speaker, Steve Lionel. To most of you, he's probably known as Dr. Fortran, and you can, can find all his contributions besides in his new blog. Um, you can find his contributions in the Intel forum, of course, as well as on Stack Overflow. But he's also now currently joining or the regular talks from Fortran Lang. And he, after his position at Intel, he decided to share his wisdom um, as a convener of the ISO Fortran Standards Committee, um, which I think he will talk about and tell you what his job uh, entails and also what plans there are for Fortran 2000, 2018 and uh, beyond.